guys and welcome back to my world. Today we're going to be looking at structure blocks. Now these blocks were added in the 1.9 uh, 1.10 snapshots and yeah they are wonderful blocks. So there are four blocks in the actual set. You've got a data block, you've got a save block, you've got a load block and you've got a corner block. First off, data block has been confirmed at this stage it does nothing and probably will not do anything for a long time. So bye bye. We only have three blocks left. Okay, so um, to get, give yourself one of these blocks, it is just give, oh, that's game mode, just give player uh, structure, structure block, and that's it. You have a structure block. When you place it down, when you go into the UI, you will see that there's a little button uh, with a little D over there. If you click on that button, it will then switch between the different modes. <clears throat> okay, and they all do exactly different things. Now the main purpose of the structure blocks is to copy structures into an NBT file that is then stored within your world folder. Okay, you can then take that NBT file and you can then actually um, place that in any any world you want. So you can take drop that folder into any other world uh, and then copy your structures over without going into any external program. So no no MC Edit or anything else. You just you know, just do it through these blocks. Okay, so what I've done now is I've set up a two corners. Okay, so you'll see I've got the bottom corner. Very, very important that any, anything that's at the same level of this corner block will not be saved. Okay, so that, that will not be saved. And anything going horizontally will not be saved. Okay, very, very important that you you don't, you know, don't put anything there and hope, and hope it will be saved. Uh, so we could one corner block on the one side. Very, very important. We need to then give it a name. Okay, so the structure name is tree. I put a corner block on the top. Okay, so this is a corner, corner block and this is going to call this tree as well. Okay, now once again, it will not save anything on the level. So you'll see I've made sure that it's not on the level. The next thing we need to do, we need to add a save block. Okay, so we're going to go one up. Now, very, very important that the save block is within 32 blocks of your actual build. Okay, otherwise it's not going to detect these two blocks. Okay, so uh, I, I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go detect and you'll see immediately it's detected the blocks between that. Okay, very, 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 very cool. There's a couple of, couple of other options here as well. You can turn on show invisible blocks, which will just show you when you've used any void blocks or when if you've if there's any air blocks. So these little little blue ones is air blocks. Uh, then we've got include entities, so you can actually include entities. And then we've got save. Once I've saved it, you'll see I get a message at the bottom here, structure saved as tree. So this has now been saved to the folder. If you activate this with redstone, it will only save it to the memory, not the folder. Okay, we'll, we'll get to that, we'll get to that later. Okay, now if we wanna load this, we're gonna go into a spot where we want it to be. Okay, we're gonna change this block into a load block or load mode. We're gonna give it exactly the same name. So we're gonna be referencing that name. Okay, we are going to be showing the bounding box and we are going to load it. And then you'll see it now shows us the bounding box and you know where it's going to load but this is not where we really want it. we want to actually move it so that it's in the center so we're going to go relatively we're going to go one minus one x minus one um, uh, y and we're going to go done okay and you'll see it is now perfectly aligned right over there and all i now need to do is click load again and you'll see there is our tree now what is very very cool about this load is that you can actually rotate it okay so if i now go uh, load you'll see it's not actually rotated it uh, well it it's rotated it relatively to this position but you'll see it has now actually been rotated so we can actually go on and we can probably do 270 and we load that and we do another one we do when was it 90 and we load it and you'll see we now actually we actually built a pretty cool structure I've actually <laughs> it's actually pretty cool okay so you can really do some really really random cool structures with that Okay, so um, that is the one way is the corner blocks. The other way you can do it is actually to use the save block relatively. So if I go to the save, uh, put the save block in, and now I'm going to do relative position. So I'm going to go straight up and I'm going to make a five by five by five block. 
Okay, and I'm gonna go done. Now you'll see immediately that it's kind of off center. Okay, so I'm over here, I'm gonna go minus two and I'm gonna go minus two, done. And you'll see it's now perfectly right there. But what I wanna do is I'm just going to move it one up again so that I now have a nice bold area for whatever it is that I wanna do. Okay, so now um, let's just build. We can kind of build anything in this space. Okay, like so. I mean, I'm not going to get any any creative at the moment with any of this. Um, right, so we can, there we go. So we've now built our little weird thing. And all we now need to do is go uh, and go save. Okay. Uh, and what, oh, we didn't actually give it a name. We didn't give it a name. So we have to give it a name. And this is just wonky. Let's just call this wonky. Okay, let's call this wonky and we're gonna save it. So it's now saved the structure as wonky. Now the problem with a structure like that is uh, if I now, for example, let's just dig down a few blocks just to, to give you an idea. If I now do a go to load mode and I go wonky, okay, uh, and I go load, oops, yeah, I'm stuck in here. If you have a look at what happened now is I put this in the ground specifically so you can see that it's actually copied all of the air. So it's actually cut out the air, which you know, sometimes you want it, sometimes you don't. For example, if we were to, uh, let me just see, can I grab that block and then I'm very lazy. Okay, so if we were to, for example, we've got this nice little build over here and for whatever reason, um, I now load up my little wonky, you'll see that I've now broken a hole in my structure. So if you don't want these holes and actually want to merge your builds together so that you know it's, it's seamless, uh, what you need to do, we're going to be using void blocks or structure void. So first thing we want to do is we're going to turn on show invisible blocks, okay? Uh, and you'll see immediately we've got uh, these little blocks showing again, the invisible blocks. Then we're just going to fill. We're going to do a fill command, okay, from there to the other side. Uh, oopsie, uh, let me just do that. Uh, like so, okay, and I'm going to just break this block and we are going to fill that with a structure void zero and we, uh, zero and we are going to be replacing air. Right. And you'll see immediately those little blocks changed and all of these are now void blocks. So I'm now just going to save it again. Um, okay, so basically what the void block does, it, it's when you want to merge two structures and you don't want uh, the structure that you are currently uh, copying to overwrite the other structure, you use a void block. So these void blocks will not overwrite any structures it get, comes in contact with. So to explain, so we go back here now, let's say I'm going to pop this block, let's put it over here. It's my wonky, I'm going to load it and you will see it's now actually seamlessly merged with my actual build over here. Okay, so there's no gaping holes, no nothing like that. So everywhere where uh, you see the, the blocks from the original structure that's not overwritten is because of the void block. Okay, uh, one other thing, the biggest area you can actually copy is a 32 by 32 by 32 area. So that is the biggest area. It's, it's big enough. I mean, you can use multiple void blocks to build multiple things if you need. Now, the next thing we need to talk about is entities. So in the past, we were not able to actually copy over uh, entities or clone over entities, but now we can. Okay, so over here, uh, item frames. So if I now go into my save, you'll see I've already got it given it a name, save item frames. What I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be include entities. I'm going to turn on. Very, very important. That needs to be on. And I'm going to save it. Okay. Then when I come over here, let's just get rid of this wall. Okay. Uh, I'm going to do the same. And I'm going to ensure when I load it, I'm going to be having the entities turned on. Now, another cool thing that uh, over here is we can actually rotate it. Uh, as I said before, let's just actually keep it in zero. Okay. And then we go done okay and then we load it and there we go oh oh dear okay so obviously this i mean this is a snapshot version so this is dev versions i mean you can expect some things to still not kind of be odd but anyway so yeah that's it you can now actually save entities hooray hooray so the next thing i want to show you is a little a little uh mechanic that i saw on reddit uh by sir bennett and basically what he did was he had one block, uh, the save block saving one area, 
mirroring it so it mirrors it when it loads it into the other area okay so this is a very very good example of um, when you load it is using the mirror functionality and then uh, basically just setting the relative position so they write across from each other when you activate these blocks with redstone it saves it to memory which is fine for what we're doing here okay so you'll see that uh, as I play place blocks it'll place blocks in pretty much exactly the same spot where I've, the blocks are on the other side I have put it on a slower clock just so that it doesn't completely not to freak out freak out um, but I kind of like the clock anyway so it is really 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 cool and a great way to show that uh, entities and all of that will still kind of work let me just go that um, we all right so you'll see over here I've also got on both sides I've got entities turned on and entities turned on for example if i were to turn off entities on the load it won't load entities so for example you'll see that it will now actually load a minecart see and i can actually ride the minecart and you will see uh, the minecart kind of going on as i move oh hold on what is going on on that side it seems to be Ooh. wait wait where are you going where are you going wait what what is it they making an escape Oh dear. Okay, I do not think this is an intended feature. Uh... <laughs> oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. I don't even know which one to to end now. Is it, is it this? Is it, is it these ones over here? Okay, guys. So, well, <laughs> I seem to have, uh, yeah, caused a bit of bother here. Um, but anyway, so yeah, structure box are amazing. Uh, I'll go through these pillars at a later stage and show you guys some of the really cool things you can do. But anyway, for now, I will check you all later.